All right, so today I want to talk about linear and quadratic functions. So first I'm going to write a linear equation, and then I'm going to write a quadratic equation. Um, so linear, this means x to the first power, usually. Uh, this means x to the first power, and a quadratic means um, x to the second power. You also could have a cubic, which would be x to the third power. Um, what I want to do is take a look at um, what does this equation actually look like. So this could look like 2x, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say plus a constant, so I'm going to say 2x plus 2. Quadratic could look like x squared. Um, the mother function, let's just look at the mother function. So the mother function is y equals m, or y equals x. Here it's x, y equals x squared. And then for a cubic function, it y equals x cubed. Um, what do the graphs of these things look like? So y equals mx plus b. A graph of this is just going to look like a line. One interesting thing about this line is it does, even though not in my graph, it goes to the origin. Um, and the importance of this, the reason we know it goes to the origin, is because if I put in zero for any of these functions, they all touch the origin, the origin being this point in the middle. Um, if you plug in zero for x, you get zero for y. Um, and the reason this makes sense is because whatever the x value is, the y val that is what the y value is. That's what the function shows. Um, for y equals x squared, this is a parabola, is the name of this shape. Um, kind of two arcs, it looks like a, a u, if you will. Um, so what's the thinking on this one? Well, it's going up by x squared. So for every number you go over in the x, it's that number times itself going up in the y direction. And then they're both positive once again because a negative number times itself will be positive. So that's how we get this shape. And then for this, we have a shape that looks like this. Once again, we get the steepness from the cubing of the thing, but it becomes negative because um, three negative numbers multiplied together are a negative number. So that's the shape of the functions. Um, we've already learned tools, how to deal with quant linear functions as far as slope-intercept form and point-slope form. Uh, for quadratic functions, we're going to look at factoring in the quadratic formula. And then for cubic functions, crummy crummy sops and things like that. So that's some things to look at. Um, but there's some linear, quadratic, and cubic function stuff. Thanks for watching.